Hello everyone, my name is Mohit and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. This is challenge number 7 of solving SQL challenges playlist and in this video we will see on how to calculate daily running balances from credit and uh, debit transactions. So what is this all about? Let us discuss. Okay, so this is the input table given and this is the output which is expected. So the left table is a transaction table in which we have details about transactions like transaction date, amount and what was the transaction type, whether it was credit or debit. Okay. So in order to calculate this cumulative transaction, what we see in the output table, we first need to calculate effective amount on every transaction date. Okay. So what I mean by effective amount, let us understand this first. So if you observe carefully for transaction ID 2, 3 and 4, which is for 2nd of March, we have two transactions with transaction type as debit and amount is 50 and 75 and one transaction with transaction type credit. So only for this 2nd of March, that means only for these three rows, if you want to calculate the effective amount, then how we can calculate? So for that, let me switch to Excel. See. For this date, we have these three amounts, right? And this is the transaction type. So this is how you can calculate this effective amount, right? 200 minus 50 plus 75. Why I am like subtracting this part 50 plus 75? Because this 50 and 75, these two are amount with transaction type as debit. So we are subtracting it from the credit amount. So the effective amount which was left on this date will look somewhat like this means 200 minus 50 plus 75 which will become 75 right and uh, to calculate this cumulative amount on 2nd of March we need to consider effective amount on 2nd of March plus effective amounts from all previous dates right so in this case it will become 100 which is for 1st of March and 75 which is from 2nd of March and how we are getting 75 that we have calculated here and 100 plus 75 will become 175. So for 2nd of March cumulative amount will be 175. Similarly we will calculate cumulative amount for every other dates. Okay. And this is what there in the output table. So for 1st and 2nd of March we have seen how we are getting cumulative amount value as this. And if you proceed further in order to calculate cumulative amount value for other transaction dates, you will get these values. Okay. So how we can achieve this using SQL query? Let us see. For that, let me switch to SSMS. Okay. So the transaction table is already created. So let me select it first. Select star from transactions. So this is the exact input table what uh, we have observed in our slide. Now our first step would be to calculate this effective amount for every date and once we are done with it then we can easily calculate cumulative amount as well and this is what we have to calculate for output right. So first let us try to calculate this effective amount on every date. So in place of star I need transaction date and now we need to calculate this amount with its proper sign and by sign I mean if it is credit then amount would be positive only but in case transaction type is debit then we need to convert this plus 50 to minus 50 correct because in order to calculate the effective amount we need to subtract this amount so for that I'll write case when transaction type equals credit then it should be same right then amount only but if transaction type is debit then this amount will become minus amount right so in this case 50 will become minus 50 correct then I'll write end as effective underscore amount Okay, now let me run it. 
let us see what we are getting so for first march we only had one transaction so it is fine for second march we had three transactions correct in which these two were transactions with transaction type as debit that's why we have put minus sign here now when we will calculate effective amount for this second of march then we will just add these three values got it and that's what we have done here so if i copy this part and let me remove this bracket so actually these two things are same correct so this minus 50 and minus 75 is the amount with debit type only correct so we just need to sum it like minus 50 plus 200 minus 75 and that will come as effective amount so in order to sum it we will write sum and uh, since we are performing aggregation we need to put non aggregated column in group by so this is the non aggregated column transaction date so i'll put this in group by transaction date now let me run it see now in order to calculate this cumulative amount we need to calculate effective amount what we have got for every individual date to all its previous dates correct so to calculate this cumulative amount for second of march we need to add these two values to calculate cumulative amount on 5th of march we need to add this this and this values to calculate cumulative amount for this date we need to add these four values okay so cumulative amount means what is the amount remaining after all the transactions which have happens on and before this date okay let me correct this button okay okay so since we have got this effective amount now we can calculate cumulative amount so for that i'll write a sub query select this transaction date and then this effective amount from let's give it alias name as a okay so i'll write a dot transaction a dot effective amount so we need to calculate some on top of this effective amount based on what we have discussed now right so some of this then we will use window function over order by in which order we have to sum so let's say we are on this date then we have to sum this effective amount for all its previous dates okay so order by this transaction date and then since we have to add the effective amount of all previous dates that's why it would be ascending so by default it is always ascending only but just to make it more clear i'm writing it ascending okay so this amount what we will get will be summation of these three amounts and uh, will uh, result into what so for example if you try to understand this for 5th of march then this will result into summation of these three values that's it and for this date it will be simply like summation of these values that's it so this is the logic behind this line okay so this will become our exact column which is cumulative underscore amount okay and uh, let me add order by this transaction now if i run this see we got the exact value what we wanted as an output okay so this is what is expected and for this output this is the query so let me switch back to our slide so this was the input and uh, we created this as an output and this is the exact query what we have used in order to achieve our output okay okay that's it guys for this video thank you so much for watching it if uh, you have enjoyed this content then please don't forget to show your support by liking this video and uh, subscribing to my channel and please make sure to hit the bell icon to receive the notifications about the new video updates
we will meet in our next video with some new challenges till then take care and goodbye